All right, now, this is called If Sling Blade Were Done Right Back in the Day. A movie was filmed around 92. It was a good movie, it set a precedent, but it wasn't done right. So, my name's Josh Mitchell, and I will give you the retrospective, retrospectively edited Sling Blade Done Right. Starting now. Yeah, I, I know that. I, uh, yeah, cinnamon chew. I had uh, I had to unpack it once. I was in uh, study hall. You remember? Big old room. It must have been like five classrooms in one. Of them study halls. It's just like they put all them kids in there. They didn't want to do nothing. No band, no athletics, no any type of extracurricular. So we're talking early 90s, they didn't force kids in STEM and all that mess. It was a more of a just, we'll warehouse you. And it was all good, I mean, you probably learned more in there. You can did all this other mess. They try to like engineer a kid's head now. Hell, back there, I remember one day I was getting out of the city hall, the bell rang, it was like bulls on parade. He was like, I've got a field trip to Spain, like, like right there. Didn't got to go anywhere because probably about 80 kids rushed out of the massive room uh, when the bell rang as the buses were lined up out front. And I was literally trampled upon, like uninjured and unhurt and really unscared but just bewildered and kind of excited that I wasn't and suffering from any of the aforementioned elements of such an experience but I was literally like on the floor and kids were running at a rapid pace like more than a jog like I'm talking trying to get a certain like miles in athletics practice uh, timing wise <clears throat> and I was the track so anyway learning is learning you get it where you go uh, they want everybody to think the same now so they do the stem and it's more orchestrated which is has some advantages too it's just the building blocks of thought they used to be more of like a zero to three to four year old thing of the building blocks and now it's like the stem is like kids aren't even getting the building blocks in their toddler days uh because of the i don't know mommy's on social media or daddy's on social media or they're just not getting it or they're not, they weren't getting enough to begin with maybe they are getting it or even more so now than they were uh but anyway it's like this building blocks approach to knowledge is like come uh, more uh, relevant even into the older ages, uh, preteen, preteen, and even into high school. You see the STEM and the robotics challenges. That's kind of like analytical type thinking. They're really trying to push, and a lot of people in the layman's world, and it may be true, say, "Oh, they're just trying to compete with Japan," and that's probably true to a degree. But there's probably more to it than that. Uh, Anyhow, uh, just to wrap up, yeah, yeah, if this were the proper sling blade, yeah, I would just start out by talking about some kind of like new kind of cinnamon uh, skull flavor and then saying you hadn't had it before, that you had had Miller Red back in when they tried it out for like three months back in around 95. And uh, just got rid of it. And uh, yeah, I would just say I try. I'd never tried the cinnamon skull, but I'd done the uh, packets in the. Uh, they were kind of like a felt packet you put in your, your, the corner of your mouth in the '90s, uh, and you you could say you tried them in study hall because the room was so big, and then the bell rang, and you could talk about your uh, field trip to Spain, and you could just say it was all sponsored by uh, Skull Products or Copenhagen or or Winter's Tooth, or Kodiak, or 
the Great Greer's Red, the Yellowstone, or whatever names they give these products, uh, that you had to like recite a, uh, you had to engage in like some impressive phraseology to uh, even like ask the clerk for a can of the uh, particular uh, uh, vintage you're seeking. So, signing off, Josh Mitchell, Nettleton, Mississippi, July 14th, 2023, and it's a Friday, so y'all have a good one.